spoilers ahead for Cocaine Bear 2023. An oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists, and teens converge on a Georgia forest where a huge black bear goes on a murderous rampage after unintentionally ingesting cocaine. Uh, what? <laughs> she don't like, she don't like, she don't like cocaine. <laughs> I enjoyed this movie way more than I thought I would. I thought it would be dumb, and it was. I didn't think it would be as funny as it was. So this is very loosely based on a true story. They mixed in some news clips and things from real life where the guy fell out of the plane and landed on the Tennessee man's lawn or Georgia man's lawn. <clears throat> Essentially, they were smuggling cocaine in from Mexico, I presume. And they were unloading it as they were caught. So they were unloading the cocaine in the forest that buries the cocaine. In the original story, the bear dies, obviously, because he ate a pound of fucking cocaine. In this movie, the bear is not only eats cocaine once, <laughs> but consistently refuels on cocaine, including a cocaine snowstorm where the, the guy is trying to just get like when they're on top of the gazebo, the guy's just trying to get the bear away and just like spraying cocaine on him <laughs> and the bears rolling around in it like my cat does with catnip. Yeah. Do you, do you think that they could have avoided all this death if someone had just asked the bear about his about her screenplay? <laughs> So apparently the one guy in this, the black guy, is Ice Cube's son, <laughs> o- O'Shea Jackson Jr. Uh, this is Ray Liotta's final performance. He's the, the main cocaine boss guy, and he passed away shortly thereafter. R.I.P. Ray Liotta, Carrie Russell, and Aiden Ehrenreich. The the young male in this movie, the, the kid who's with the main girl's daughter. What's his name? Skeeter or some shit? <laughs> Henry? Oh, no. Close enough. He is fucking hilarious. He's my favorite character in this movie. It was a very interesting movie in that there were three separate groups of people who all had their reason for being in the forest, obviously. Yeah. And each person's story separately was interesting. So every time they would cut from one set of characters to the other, I was able to, you know, get into the story, even though it was about a stupid bear doing cocaine and killing people. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. By the way, this movie has already spawned knockoffs. Cocaine Shark is a thing. You know those shitty Amazon Prime slash okay, sci-fi okay. channel? <laughs> what about Cocaine Shark NATO? Yes. Or <laughs> Cocaine Bear NATO. That's too much. <laughs> All right. So a, a tornado whips across the across the Rocky Alps, picking up bears and cocaine. <laughs> And then takes a detour across the sea and picks up sharks as well. (coughs) And the bears, the bears and sharks don't fight. They join forces inside of the tornado. Okay. What if instead, what if it's just like one bear and one shark, they accidentally get glued together with like um, super glue. And so the bears running around with a shark on his back and they're just eating. They're just like eating stuff. (laughs) They do the fusion dance inside the tornado and become something (laughs) nobody could ever imagine. (laughs) I would say bears and sharks are relatively the same power level. Like if you had scouters on them, I would say it was pretty close. So they could fuse. <laughs> what is really, this? I don't really have many notes. Yeah, me neither. I don't. Even... <laughs> I think like all you have to say is yeah, it's pretty funny. It's not like well written. <laughs> uh, the trailer is true to the movie. And I think it doesn't spoil anything. It's like, how would you spoil it? Yeah, I don't know. I think I think. It's just a really interesting, fun, goofy, dumb, awesome movie. Nine there's out not, of ten. <laughs> yeah, there's not a ton to say for me about it. You want to do ratings and numbers and shit? <laughs> Nine out of ten. I'm already done. Okay. It's, yeah, a, it's, a, it's a funny movie about a cocaine uh-huh. bear. I don't know what to tell you. If the trailer doesn't suit you, then uh, don't watch it. You won't like it. If the trailer does suit you, uh, there you go. Yeah, if, the, if you're interested by the trailer, you're going to love it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to also give this an 8.1. <laughs> so <laughs> back to back 46,000 plus ratings for a 6.0 out of 10. Yeah. So I, mean, I guess it wasn't for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I give comedy movies more credit than like action or drama movies because most comedy movies are just horribly flawed. I mean, I, I know 
I was listening to a podcast about a comedian. She said, oh, yeah, the reason why jokes all seem samey is like Hollywood writers will wa- will outline a script and then they turn on Comedy Central and just take jokes and put it in the movie. Sounds so like, right. it's not often I see a movie where it's like I don't know the joke as the as the joke's coming out. They're always just another movie with a different character. And Adam Sandler is using the same, he's wearing the same clothes, but talking <laughs> different. I think I'm out of date talking about Adam Sandler. Because he hasn't really had one lately, has he? Not in a while, I don't think. But like, what are the big comedy movies these days? Who knows? Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. All right. Yeah, go, so go give it a look. Yeah, it actually did pretty well at the box office. 63, 63.8 million domestically, 20.7 million internationally for total of 84,575,404. So How much did, did it cost? Well. The bear CGI was okay. I've I've seen worse CGI in very expensive movies. <laughs> uh it says 30 to 35 million. Jesus, that is a deal. I mean, we've seen movies look way worse for like way more. I'll leave it up to you the viewers to guess. We do have an entire catalog of movies to go back and watch. <laughs> so, listen to us talk about how expensive it is for how shit it looks. <laughs> yes. And then thumbs up the video and argue in the comments of people that don't like me. <laughs> Is that a thing? I've seen like two comments saying like, I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that'll do it for us. Let us know what you think. I don't even know what's coming next. Our schedules are going to start to even out. So on that note, we will catch you guys later. Later. Later.